eyes. Open your eyes. My eyes are open, Dave. And if you don't like it, get the out. Really? Yeah. Ready? Really? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Dave Hester, better known as the Mogul, is a Storage Wars veteran, and we're here to speak about his most dramatic moments on and off the program. Dave is a member of the long-running reality show's initial cast. Many things have attracted notice to him, including his trademark catchphrase, yup. His time in the limelight, however, hasn't always been pleasant, as he has created a commotion both on and off screen. Dave Hester has a tumultuous connection with A&E and his former co-stars. In today's video, let's talk about Dave Hester's biggest scandals on and off the Storage Wars. Before anything else, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, or else the cockroaches will crawl on your feet tonight whilst you're sleeping. Dave Hester from Storage Wars is one of those characters you can't live without, whether you like him or not. Hester is an original cast member who has been an anchor for the majority of the show's run. He is famous for his loud catchphrase, yup, whilst making a bid. Despite the fact that Hester is still on the program today, some viewers may have noticed that he was absent from season 4. Hester had been dismissed, not because of a vacation or personal time. Dave Hester on Storage Wars when Storage Wars originally aired on the A&E Network in 2010, Dave made his debut. The show follows a group of bidders who are trying to earn money by buying the contents of foreclosed storage units. Before season 13, Dave was preoccupied with his company, but he became a recognizable figure. Until 2019, he featured in nearly every season. Following a DUI arrest in 2005, he began looking for treasure in heaps of trash. He served community service at a local Goodwill shop as part of his sentence. He acquired a flair for thrifting when he was there. After selling his father's train collection, he turned his hobby into a company. Dave is in charge of the majority of the operations of the whole cast. He has a team of 15 people working for him. For better or worse, he's left an indelible impression on fans and castmates throughout the years. Lawsuit against the program Brandy Passante, Hester's co-star, has made it clear that Hester isn't her favorite bidder to work with. Brandy has said that the way she and Jared Schultz behaved on video was not staged. As Passante stated in a recent interview with Nikki Swift, whatever happens when we get there is completely up to us. Nobody teaches us how to live our lives. Nobody instructs us what to say or how to say it. If it seems like Dave is grating on my nerves, it's because he is. In 2012, after being fired from the program, Dave created a controversy by suing the network over the show's legitimacy. Producers, according to Hester, would arrange the program by putting items in storage containers. Producers, he said, were keeping secrets, including the salting of lockers. The word salting refers to the placing of goods in storage lockers prior to the start of bidding wars. He said that bidders will come across certain goods that seem too wonderful to be true. One locker, for example, had newspapers announcing Elvis Presley's death. The case resulted in a private deal with A&E that has not been made public. After then, Hester returned to the program. Dave Hester has been embroiled in a slew of controversies. He had a squabble with previous castmates Laura and Dan Dotson, for example. Dan threatened Dave, according to TMZ and Dave struck him. Laura even leapt on Dave's back during the fight on set. He also had a court fight with Trey Songs, a musician, for usage over his catchphrase, yup. The case was also resolved confidentially. Storage Wars Season 3 did not include Hester. What happened to Dave Hester before Season 3? We found out what Dave Hester was up to before the new season aired, and he's a controversial Storage Wars icon who isn't a Season 13 cast member. While the majority of the Storage Wars coverage these days is focused on Brandy Passante and Jared Schultz's unexpected divorce, which occurred years ago, viewers of the program are always interested in learning more about Hester. His cunning, hard-nosed approach to profiting from even the most bizarre Storage Locker contents will be remembered for a long time. His claim that Storage Wars producers stuff lockers with intriguing things 
to make the show more dramatic is also noteworthy. Hester knows how to grab people's attention, whether he's on the program or talking about it away from the A&E cameras. During the first season of Storage Wars, we came to know him. High Noon in the High Desert, the first episode of the series introduced him. He is well known for his signature answer, yup. He is also well known for his feuds with previous castmates Laura and Dan Dotson. According to TMZ, Dan once threatened Dave, who then assaulted him. When Dan's wife got on Hester's back, the commotion escalated. In 2015, a fight broke out on the set of the program. According to the deadline, Hester had filed a wrongful termination lawsuit against A&E and the show's production firm Original Productions three years before. The case was resolved in 2014, and the details of the deal remain confidential. Fans were shocked when Hester returned to Storage Wars for season 6, despite the legal issues. A career behind Storage Wars Dave has moved on from his claims that the program was a hoax after he was dismissed. Dave the Mogul, Dave Hester's verified Twitter account, has a wealth of information regarding his current actions. Hester advertised an online auction on Twitter earlier this week. The proxy bid platform is hosting the auction. Offers from potential bidders interested in HVAC dehumidifiers are encouraged. Hester is still doing what he does best, transforming one person's garbage into another's treasure. Some unusual goods have been mentioned in previous tweets for online and offline auctions, including marble foo dogs, a Bentley Turbo R, and fascinating huge jade boats. Hester wears a lot of hats. He holds auctions, sells things at flea fairs, and hosts meet and greet events. He puts in a lot of hours and appears to enjoy it. His ambition to earn a profit is most likely what drives him. He does, however, take time to unwind and even shows a gentler side on Twitter. This may come as a shock to some fans who only know him as a previous Storage Wars tormentor. He's a dog lover, for example, and owns two pugs, Pinky and Violet. He also promotes an event called Pugtoberfest. Dave's pugs have their own Instagram account, Dave Loves Pugs. Dave is a smart businessman who makes money off his Storage Wars celebrity. He is married to Donna Hester and the father of Dave Jr., but he is also a family guy and most Storage Wars fans have seen Dave Jr. on the show. Dave Sr. is a baseball enthusiast, a gourmet, and a beach lover who adores his mother. Dave Hester has many layers, and he may have revealed truths that the Storage Wars actors would want to keep hidden. Many fans are hoping that he will return to the series at some point. This concludes our video, What Do You Think of Dave Hester's Personality? Do you think it's real, or did he just do it for the program? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.